Hello everyone, Cassandra Good reporting to you live from my home office here in Albany, Georgia. And guys, today I want to talk to you about why I might not share a lot of my direct mail opportunities online. Number one, everybody should know by now that direct mail is, is my passion. Direct mail is, is my lifeblood, it's my life source, and it is the biggest reason why um, things have happened for me like they have, why I was able to become a six-figure earner and catapulting fastly um, to the next level. And the reason why I started is my biggest why, if anybody hasn't realized it by now, 30, 34 years ago, I had, Lord, my daughter might get upset with me. I didn't have told her age. But 34 years ago, um, I started on this road. And I started on this road because I realized that the things that I wanted for my daughter, um, the way I was looking at things, you can kind of say that I, I, I could prematurely see how things were going to go. I also understood that um, I was always someone that wanted to... Um, excel in everything that I did in everything that I do that's just 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 me um I I can't expect anybody else to manifest my dreams and what I wanted for myself I would see people take off and do certain things and I said to myself you know what I want to do that too but I would do it in a different way because they were doing it in a traditional manner. Now, as as time went on, I definitely knew without a shadow of a doubt what direct mail marketing was. And then here comes the World Wide Web. Okay, that's what it was called before they start saying internet. Okay, it was called World Wide Web. And at that time, World Wide Web, we were still programming the computer to do what we wanted to do. I know I have a, a degree in computer science and that's what we were doing. We were using COBOL and Multimate. Those were the languages that we were using to program the computer to do what we wanted to do. There was no automated uh, uh, language like Java that would actually tell the computer what to do, the coding and all of that other stuff. That was later, that was after IBM and that was Microsoft, okay? All of that, we didn't have access to that. We told the computer that we wanted to um, advertise something. And at that particular time, I was using e-signs or we were connecting with journals or journalists that had a following because they were writing on a regular basis of newsworthy content. And we would actually ask, you know, if I have a business opportunity, which at that particular time I did, it was credit repair. I was running around and I was sharing through the mail. I was sharing a trifold credit repair opportunity that was $19.95 to be a part of. I would keep $7 and I would forward $12.95 to the company. And if someone got approved to restore their credit, build their credit, or fix their credit, then I would get a certain percentage of that. Okay. And those days, things came a lot slower. Fast forward the internet, World Wide Web, we were able to get our newsworthy content. And yeah, I was really writing articles. I was really writing content in order to be eligible to get onto these e-signs and these journalists, journals to share business opportunities. And of course, I was sharing credit repair. Okay. Now that was my first introduction to the World Wide Web. Hence, YouTube came along, and I started doing YouTube videos. I started sharing credit repair. I started sharing other opportunities that would help a person be able to learn how to have a direct mail business, even if it wasn't credit repair, but how to have a direct mail business, your list providers, the vendors that you work with, where you can place one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, where you could place quarter ads, where you can place half, 
half page ads, front cover, back cover. You get what I'm saying. Then here comes the internet. Things change. And I would honestly say between 2004, 2006, you can, well, even up to 2008, you can get away with slapping up a website, putting a page up there, making it look all beautiful, put an affiliate link in there, and get some sales. You probably did very well. I know for me, I did well as well. Well, I still was writing content, worthy, newsworthy content for that website. Because back then, Google was not all about, we need to make sure that you're giving us something that's newsworthy. You, you, we need to make sure that you're giving us something that will allow people to really be paying attention to what you're, what you're sharing. Oh, I just, I want to share this and I want to sell that. And I got an affiliate link right there and give me commissions through ClickBank. ClickBank was the biggest marketplace at that time. Now, of course, we have many other marketplaces, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, you name it, it uh, com, com, uh, Commission Junction, CPA Networks. We have all kinds of stuff now that we can choose from. But through this whole process and transition of affiliate marketing, direct mail has never changed. The same rules apply. You have to make sure you have a good list. You have to make sure that the vendors that you are using, they're reputable and they're going to give you honest work. If you're going to place ads, if you're going to place subscriptions in their network, that those networks are still viewers that are interested in the products or services that you're sharing, your affiliate links, whatever it is. So when somebody asks me, and it's funny because I see a lot of people that will ask me, Cassandra, you don't share, you know, what you used to. And I even had two today that asked me, are you still direct, doing direct mail? I will never stop doing direct mail. You know why? Because even if my JV Zoo might sell, you know, $203, which was today, I, I mean, I'm not a big JV Zoo person. Okay. But if I can get a couple thousand dollars out of it a month, I'm I'm awesomely thankful. I am. I'm grateful because I know some people are not even able to get a dollar. You know, they might not have the marketing astute to be able to know how to drive traffic, what kind of traffic, what kind of products and services to actually pull so that they can get earnings from that. But direct mail is my baby. It's my heart. It's my pleasure. And as I did a video a day or so ago, and probably just uploaded it yesterday or maybe today or a few hours ago, you have to do what you're passionate about. And so direct mail will never, never cease to amaze me, and it will never, never be out of my arsenal of things to do, because I have several direct mail business models that I share on a regular basis. And what I mean by regular, I'm consistent with it. I mail every single day. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Now, this particular program, which is funny to me, came out in 2013. Let me tell you how powerful a program can be. Because I want you to look right here at the bottom. Let me make sure so you can see it, guys. Uh, you see what that says right there? Uh, launched in 2013, still going strong, not a gifting program. But I mail it every day. I earn from it every single day. What I want to ask you what businesses are you in online that you're still earning from since 2013? Online. I All of my businesses that I have been involved with offline and still earning checks from have been around since 2002, 2004, 6, 7, 8, and 10. Guys, it's 2000, 
19 in just three or four short months, it's going to be 2020. But I want you to think about this. That's direct mail. Now, they always say money loves speed. That's for the Internet. That has nothing to do with direct mail. Direct mail's philosophy is if you have a direct mail business model that has an owner with integrity, an owner with moral ethics, and an owner that takes care of their business, I assure you, there is no stopping point. I hear people talk about, oh, well, this is going to be saturated after a while. Let me let you see this again. So you can see that. Launched in 2013. Six years ago. Six years ago. I first did this four years ago. Made very well. But you're asking me, am I still mailing it? Am I still in direct mail? Of course I am. Another one. People ask me, are you still doing this? I've known this young man. Oh, wait a minute. I did it wrong. Sorry, guys. I've been connected to Lawn over six years now. Every business opportunity that he shares with me, of course, I'm on his list, I join. Why? Because, let me make sure you see this. Yeah, I'm not going to really go into the pricing so you can see all of that there. But do you see the address there? Take a good look. Take a good look at the address. Okay. Same address. Okay. Checks. Direct mail. Okay. What else I got here? I think I got something else. Oh, and of course, I'm going to always, no matter what, have a cover letter. If you don't have a cover letter with your direct mail piece, I'm not sure what to tell you. I believe in transparency, and I believe in making sure that people know who they're actually dealing with when I share businesses. Now, those are not all of the businesses that I connect with, but I just wanted to give you an idea of, now, I guess that everybody likes to see all of this. You like to see, okay, you get a whole bunch of checks, you get cash, you get stuff in the mail. Okay. and Okay, that's one. And I guess you like to see all this too. I got plenty. You know, but I guess this is this is the way everybody is excited about, about these days. Checks, 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 checks. It's, it's so much under here. It is it's actually just, you know, you. I mean, let me spread it out. So I don't I don't know if that's where the excitement comes from. I'm not sure. And you can see I'm bad at this because, and that's not it. Let me make sure. Here's another check that came in to $500. What else? Oh, I get, I earn silver too. So anything that I'm sharing with you guys, I I get from Silver Block Company. You can see here, this is what they, you earn money 
plus silver kind of put you in the mind of Numis. If anybody knows anything about Numis um, coins that we were collecting at one particular point, um, let me open it up so you can see. It's real. Yeah, here, here we go. More coins. More coins. Guys, I'm doing this with direct mail. Now, I'm probably getting ready to hit some people. And my nanny used to say a hit dog will holler. Now, oh, here goes some more. Here goes some money orders. All last week. Well, a couple days from last week. Money orders. Okay. Different different amounts. Let me let me flip that around so you can see that different amounts. Okay. Direct mail. Has nothing to do with me coming on here and saying something. It's direct mail. See, this is why I think people get it confused a little bit. When you feel the need that you have to, if I have to come on here and say, this direct mail business is working like this, am I really showing you, am I really earning that from direct mail? I mean, start asking your people. Yeah, I am not trying to be funny here. But when you have people that, that are coming on and talking about, you know, I'm doing this with direct mail, start asking them, do they have envelopes? You know, let me see your envelopes. You know, let me let me see what you're actually putting out there. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a woman of my word. I, I'm, I, I mean... I'm I'm mailing daily. You can't really see these. Okay. I'm a direct mail marketer. I'm not just telling you to join something. I'm hopping on here making a video and telling you to join something. That doesn't prove I'm a direct mail marketer. That means that I'm using YouTube as a means to be able to tell you that you can do direct mail marketing. But if I'm not doing it myself, if I'm not showing the proof in the pudding, if I'm not showing checks from company, I mean checks, we we can all do cash. We can all do cash. But when you are with companies, viable companies that you work with on a regular basis, day in, day out, and you're doing direct mail, then we need to talk. Because direct mail is totally different than the internet. People are throwing up, they're doing webinars, they're doing YouTube videos, and don't get me wrong because I use it myself. But when it comes to my direct mail, I share with people so they can see the actual mailing pieces themselves and they can earn too, simply with the same format. And see, that's where a lot of confusion is coming in, because now we have so many people saying, well, so-and-so told me that I can do this, and, and he or she said that they're doing direct mail, and they PDF over a flyer for me to print out so I can sign up. Well, you're signing up because you've seen their video. You don't know if they're actually doing the direct mail. You don't know if they're actually mailing out pieces. Everybody's redirecting and putting their finger over there, go over there, go over there. You need to know that the people that you're connecting with know how to do direct mail too, so that you can find success with it as well. So the question is, do I still do direct mail? Absolutely. I'll never stop doing direct mail until the good Lord calls me home. Why? Because that was my initial breakthrough process. That was my initial breakthrough, the format to which I achieved that. I love online marketing. Don't get me wrong. I'm able to reach out to you all more with video marketing. I'm able to reach out to you more when you come and you ask me questions via uh, email or via social media, 
I'm able to do that. But I need people to be transparent and let it be known that, okay, no, I, I'm, yeah, I'm using this PDF, I'm using this flyer, whatever, but I, I'm not really doing any direct mail, you know, because the first thing I hear is postage costs too much. Well, let me tell you something. Imagine this. Imagine having sources that will allow you to be able to mail out in anywhere between 15 to 20% of those mailing pieces, you get returns. Now that means if I mail out a thousand, a thousand, I can teach you how to do that in short order. I can teach you how to do that at a postage discount rate. Just email me at askcassandragood at gmail.com and I can send that information over to you so you'll have access to it too. But just imagine being able to mail that out, knowing with the pieces that you put together and the methodology that I do and I use, that you'll have a higher response, thus earning you checks, okay? Thus earning you, and this is just a couple days. That's just a couple days, guys. That's just a couple days. You can do it too. And most of the time, I just have people that don't have patience. Direct mail is different. It is a slower process, but guess what? It's a consistent, steady process once you continue to go. I can't tell you how many people I know that have tried their best with solo ads. They'll get excited, they get into a business, and they'll say, oh, okay, I know how to do this, and I got uh, $2,000, and I'm going to run solo ads. They're consistent. Every week, they're going to the top solo ad vendors, and they're pumping their money, and they're sending that money right on in, and they get a heap of opt-ins. But you know the difference between that and direct mail? Is that those subscribers have seen so many opportunities that you just confuse the heck out of them. And so you're hoping that the share code that your team leader gave you that actually had you join the business is going to actually work miracles for you and get those people to sign up. And you forget to infuse your own self. You forget to infuse your personality. You forget to warm up to those people and let them know who you are as a person and that you will help them as your as their sponsor. You forget all about that. But let me tell you about what happens when a person gets that envelope. When they get that envelope and they open it and they go to looking and say, oh, man. What is this about? And they look in there and say, oh my goodness, Power of Four program, 100% cheat proof, $27,280 mail out until you get four responses. Oh, wow. You know what just clicked off in their head? Oh, once I get four responses, I don't have to do anything else because guess what? Phase two, no mailing is required. You know what's happening? All of those four people are mailing out on your behalf. What is easier? To get people to mail out to the list that you share with them because you know it's responsive as well because you used it? Or someone online using a business saying, just keep doing your solo ads with competition of I don't know how many subscribers in between these different vendors that are selling you these clicks and these people are overwhelmed that they don't know how many offers they seen per day but at the same token you got to needle your way in there. and I mean needle you have to needle your way in there and you have to get personal with them you have to let them know hey I'm the one that sent you Blah, 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 blah. Can you remember? Because I know you've seen about 100 emails today. And they're like, oh, well, by this time they're frustrated. They don't know what's going on. 
But when my mail piece, whichever ones I share, when they hit that mailbox, it might sit on the kitchen table. It might be on your refrigerator. But it's just one or two pieces that came in that envelope. And I have their attention. I have their attention. It's not flooded with all kinds of other stuff. That one envelope, when they tear it open, I have their undivided attention. And in that moment, I have to have a mailing piece that is going to do 60 seconds worth of work. That got to grab their attention. It has to be something that looks like a winner and going to prove a winner. And I assure you, if you see my name on it, I didn't test it and I didn't tweak it before I even sent it out to you to know you're going to get checks and money orders, checks and money orders. It does not matter. And I'm never going to stop. You know why? Because number one, I got a family. Number two, I have to prepare for my future. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking the reason why you even look at a YouTube video is because you want to make sure that you can find things that are solid for you to duplicate and also for you to be able to create multiple streams of income like I've been telling you guys for years. I'm not just talking to you guys. I am telling you what I'm doing. I am telling you. I'm showing you what I'm doing. I have people that come out of nowhere. I don't know them. Hey, Cassandra, what are you doing? Cassandra, what are you doing? And I share. The reason why I haven't been doing all of this online is because I see how with my direct mail businesses, one I don't even want to speak on was running fluently, seamlessly, streamlined for years. Yet, it got overwhelmed, and they did so much, and are doing so much to try to get caught up. Because why? It was meant for direct mail. It wasn't meant for the internet. In my part in it, I felt bad because I really initially and still want the best, the absolute best for everyone out here that is tired of trying to figure out how to market online. Try to trying to figure out whether or not do what do I do? I'm I'm marketing online. I, I'm I'm reaching out. You have no clue how to do Facebook. You you don't even know what I am is D M D N down low. It doesn't even matter. You don't know the acronyms. You don't know the abbreviation. You just trying to figure it all. And the simplest way to do that is to go back to the root of things. Before before there was internet, before there was World Wide Web, excuse me, which was World Wide Web first and then internet, and go back to the basics. Why do you think the basics always reign supreme with the biggest companies in the world? You might see a JCPenney commercial, but you will always get a flyer or a postcard about sales, discounts percentages off for the week. You're not going to always see that on a commercial because they know no matter what, when a person gets that postcard in the mail for that 60 seconds, they have their undivided attention. And this was what this video was all about, guys. I'm never, ever, ever going to leave direct mail. It has been too good to me, those who have followed me tentatively and paid attention to what I said to do, it's been very, very good to them too. Because I hear the results and I see the results. And I'm very, very, very proud of you for doing likewise, for taking the bull by the rein and taking off and making your decision to stop spinning on that rat wheel and take charge, be consistent. And another thing, 
it is easier for people to be consistent with direct mail. You know why? Because direct mail allows you to take a piece, apply a label, or fix the stamp, and drop it in the mail. With marketing online, you got to change vendors. I don't know if this solo ad vendor is going to work anymore. This coding has changed with Google. So now I can't optimize like I wanted to. I can't do my monetization like I want to do. Oh, now I need thumbnails. Oh, I can't use the cookie cutter thumbnail. I got to use photo bucket. I, got, I can't be simplified anymore. Wait a minute. Google has changed their algorithm again. Blah, 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 blah. Direct mail doesn't have those inner workings and difficulties and trials and tribulations of ongoing, everlasting issues that they have to contend to. Get your mailing piece. Affix your label. Put your stamp on there. Drop it in the mail. It has been the same since I've started using it in 1986, and it is 2019. Does not change. I assure you, it doesn't change. So, guys, if you would like to reach out to me at askcassandragood at gmail.com, see what I'm up to. Trust me, I got something for you. It doesn't matter what price point it is, because I got it all. From smallest all the way up to high tier. I got you covered. Please, by all means, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me help you make this year your breakthrough. Even though you just have a few months at the end of the year, at least you can get a plan of action started and go from there. Once you go from there, there's no stopping. Wonderful thing about direct mail, once you build up a momentum in your business, can't stop it. Checks will come in, checks, cash, or however monetary format of, of receiving that particular platform has, you will not be able to stop it. Again, this is Cassandra Good reporting to you live from my home office, and I will tell you it's always a pleasure to give you information and insight as to what's going on with me and exactly what I can do to help you, okay? Click that channel so I can have you as a subscriber to know any information or changes that's happening with me. And also email me, askcassandragood at gmail.com. Let me hook you up, give you some good stuff to work with. Y'all have a great one. Thank you so much, and bye for now.